Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at what is Flex Firmware and how do you get it onto your radio? So this was asked on my YouTube channel about what is Flex Firmware. Now, Flex is something that's been around for a few years now. It originally started on the R9 system, and this was back around sort of early 2019, I believe, when, to be honest, the firmware became rock solid. In fact, it hasn't been updated since. And originally what you would have is two versions. You would have an LBT version, which was mostly used in European countries, and you would have an FCC version for America and other areas of the world. The main difference between the two were the frequency that the system operated on. So the EU version was 868 megahertz. The FCC version is 915 megahertz. But there are also a few sort of restrictions in the EU firmware due to certain rules. So for example, you couldn't actually have telemetry if you used any power level above 25 milliwatts. And what the Flex firmware does is allow you to define how you want to use the radio system. So you can have telemetry at every power level. You can set the frequency. So you can choose between 868 and 915, which all you need to do is change the antenna then and you can fly somewhere else. Now this is especially useful if you're someone that travels a lot because you can just take the, the one module with you, have two antennas, one for 868, one for 915, just change the frequency in the module and then you can fly. Obviously the receiver would need different length of antennas as well, but you know, maybe you're borrowing a plane from somewhere when you're visiting. But it, it basically just gives you that extra level of flexibility. So that is the main difference with flex compared to the other two. And what I'm gonna do now is show you how to get that on your radio. Now this radio has flex on it currently, but as it needs a firmware update, I'm gonna treat it as if it doesn't. So the first thing I'm gonna do is power on and we'll just plug the USB in. And what we're gonna do is choose Free Sky Suite. Once all the bings and bongs are gone, we're gonna just open up our Free Sky Suite. So you can see here that it knows that I'm on Flex. So this latest version of EFOS Suite has fixed the issue where it would show uh, LBT no matter what firmware you had on here. Um, but it's on 1.4.4, uh, so it is out of date. There's a newer firmware about. Now, because I'm already on Flex, I could just click this button and it would install the, the latest version of Flex. But if you're on FCC or EU or any other firmware for that matter, you can't do that. You actually need to get Flex on there first. So to do that, we want to go to the FreeSky EFOS feedback community and we're gonna click on the latest release and we're gonna go through the list until we find the firmware for our radio. So here we go, X20S Flex. So I'm gonna download that to the desktop. Now, if you are old school with EFOS and you used to do manual updates, this process is very familiar to you. If you've only had EFOS since EFOS Suite's been about with the automatic updates, it's a little bit different, but it's quite simple. So now this is downloaded, I'm just gonna minimize the browser and here's the file on the desktop. And all I'm gonna do is open it up. We see our X20S Flex and our firmware.bin. I'm just gonna stick that on the desktop. Now I'm gonna close this down. Now this is where it is different from the old school method because before we'd have to go into uh, bootloader mode, open up a, a file explorer, but now we can just choose select local firmware. So here's our firmware.bin and I'm gonna choose open and then update firmware. So that will do everything for me. It switches to bootloader and it will update automatically the Flex firmware onto the transmitter. And if you didn't want to use Flex, you could use the same method to go back. So if we look in here, you can see OREX 20S, we have FCC, EU. Uh, we also have, that's the SHE. Uh, there's the Israeli version. So. All the different versions are there. You can just download the one you want and then choose that select firmware and update firmware button down here. Now, what would be really interesting to see is if it updates these other out of date components as well. But if it does, that'd be quite useful. But if not, uh, we can just click the button after to get that done. So 
What I'm going to do is come back once this is finished. And no, unfortunately it hasn't updated the rest of it, but you can see we're now on 1.4.5 flex. So that firmware has been updated. Now we can just click this button here and it will update all the components that are out of date for us. And job done. I'm not going to come back after this because this is quite standard from this point onwards. But that's basically what Flex is and how to get it updated on your radio. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and click for the uh, subscribe and bell icon. That will help get this video out to more people so they can learn about this too. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Fly your models like you stole them.